Hello YouTube, just an update on that thermal bug. We're still on BIOS F24, but so the laptop ran out of battery, I plugged it in, turned it on, and we still had the issue. And it's not even reporting a skin temperature here. Now I've just been running this stress test to see what would happen, and it's been sat at 100 degrees for quite some time now. And I don't know if you can hear, the fan is not even running. Now I'm going to just demonstrate by putting the machine to sleep. But it's not going to do much difference. You see the light's gone off. Hopefully we can wake up the keyboard. Turn it on, still nothing. You can still hear no fan. Despite the fact that we're at 100 degrees C, the CPU core. It's quite amazing that the machine isn't uh, hard throttling. We're still holding about 1.8 gigahertz, which is quite impressive. The machine is very hot. It's currently charging as well here. Although that doesn't seem to make any difference. If I put the machine into hibernate, wait till the light goes out and I start it again, we might get the skin temperature sensor to come back. Because normally we've seen before where after some time the laptop realises that the skin temperature sensor isn't working and just blasts the fan because we're sat at 100 degrees. But this time we just had nothing. That's taking quite a lot of time to go into hibernate, isn't it? I'm going to keep the video running though, just to prove that I'm not editing this or faking it at all. That is if we do actually manage to get into hibernate mode. The laptop is very hot, so it might be uh, throttling quite badly. It is sitting on a bed at the moment but that makes no difference because even on my lap there's no airflow because the fan isn't running. There we go, it's turned off. If I turn it on, hear the fan come on for the self-test. Actually, as far as I can tell, We'll rerun HWINFO. The fan is still not running. Yeah, no skin temperature sensor. This is quite bad. Now I might try to reboot the laptop. So I'm going to stop this in case it's interfering with anything. I'm still at 100 degrees. And we'll restart it. Again, I'm not going to pause the video, I'm just going to let it run through just to prove what's happening. Oh, okay, I might pause it now. I'd just like to add. Right, the restarting thing is just gone now. Should have the HP logo. Yep. Still got no fan running. Despite the laptop being very hot. Essentially, the bug has got even worse. Fire up page info. I've got to do it in summary mode as well to prove I'm on the F24 BIOS. See, F24 here. 100 degrees here. No skin temperature sensor. What's going on? Now I think the only other option, if I shut this down completely, wait for the light to go out, I'll just start it from cold again. And see if we get the skin temperature sensor back. If not, then we might just have to force shut down. Because I think we can hear there's no fan running still. And this laptop is getting very hot. It'd be good if I had a thermal imaging camera. F24. 
sensors. Yep, 100 degrees, no skin temperature sensor. So I'm just going to hold the power button down until it force shuts down. Normally it flashes to show that it has to shut down. And it's not just in sleep mode. And now it won't even boot. I'll show the uh, charging symbol as well. That's gone out too. What could have happened now is the temperature sensor has realized this laptop is very hot. If this is the case, I might come back later. Just to prove the time. 14.32, that's a very dusty clock. We'll come back in about 5-10 minutes or so. So, we're now booting again. That didn't take very long, just a minute or two of having it unplugged and just leaving it do its thing. It's now booting up. I still can't hear the fan running though, which is not a very good sign. Gonna run it again. Go and do sensors mode. And we're still at 100 degrees with no skin temperature sensor and the fan is still not running. This is quite bad. I don't know how you would even, how you would even solve this now. So just to see what happens, I'm going to shut this down, maybe force shut it down again. I'll wait a long time with the power button just to make sure. And I'm going to take to the BIOS. And we're going to listen to see if the fan runs in the BIOS. Uh, we should go into system diagnostics maybe. And we'll see if we have any temperature data. Fan, it's not running at all. Uh, is there a way to show the CPU temperature here? I can do a fan test here. If I do a fan speed test, we can hear it runs. There's nothing actually wrong with the fan. Just the temperature sensor. Now if I can find a way to force restart this machine. I don't know if that did it. HP logo. That's uh, Windows Start of Recovery. Still no fan running. Yeah, it's Windows Restart there. But yeah, not sure what to do now. My laptop just sits at 100 degrees with no temperature sensor. So as we've seen before, we had the error with the temperature sensor. Despite hard like restarting it, shutting it down, hibernate mode, sleep mode, still no temperature sensor. So what I'm going to do now is follow HP's guidance of trying to, I think it's hard reset, I'm not sure. But yeah, it involves unplugging the power adapter. There's nothing plugged into the laptop. And we're going to hold down the power button for 15 seconds. I'm not quite sure how long 15 seconds is. I probably should have been counting. But we're just going to do this and see if we've got our temperature sensor back. So 
that should be more than enough time. Fan's gone off again. Is it going to come back? The laptop is still very hot. I don't think we have a temperature sensor. I can't hear the fan running. We'll run it in sensors only mode, just to prove. Yep, pretty much 100 degrees, no skin temperature sensor. So I'm going to try the next step, just shut down the machine, and we're going to try a BIOS reset. So as per the HP website, to do the CMOS reset, you need to shut the machine down, which I just did, and hold the power button for 25 seconds. So I'm going to start that now. Five seconds. Ten seconds. Fifteen seconds. 20 seconds, 25 seconds. Now let's see what happens. Didn't say H uh, CMOS checksum is invalid, so we might have to do it a different way using a key combination. I still don't hear any fan despite the fact that this laptop is quite hot. So I'm going to shut this machine down and perform a BIOS recovery. Just doing a BIOS recovery now. I heard the fans ramp up to full and then the machine shut down again. That might be part of the sequence. I'm not sure. I'm just going to film to see what it does now. We're still connected to AC power. quite hot. I'm just going to keep filming this now in case my machine just dies on me completely. I don't have much hope. Oh, my screen. HP BIOS update. System BIOS is being recovered. You can probably hear the fan is running as well. And now writing the new BIOS image, so it says. I don't know what version this is going to be. I am following these steps by the way. You see AC power is connected. Right. I'm gonna continue the startup. Now it does mention about lights flashing.
this usually does take a little while, but that's normal. System bars recovery has occurred. Press enter to continue. Unfortunately, I still don't hear the fan running. I think possibly my sensor has died. We're going to wait till we get into the BIOS or Windows. Continue startup. Still no fan. degrees, no skin temperature sensor. I don't know what to do now. What I'm going to do next, actually, uh, is probably take the machine apart and disconnect the battery to make sure everything's shut down. Um, we can check the BIOS version, actually. Not that button. This one. F24. So yeah, I'm going to take the machine apart and make sure the IR sensor is obviously plugged in properly, which I think it is. And then disconnect the battery. Just let it sit for a little while. Plug it in again and hope we get our sensor back just removing the back panel now. I just want to film this in case my machine dies. See it's a little bit dusty but the IR board which is I think here is still connected. Put the flash on. It still looks connected to me. So what I'm going to do is going to disconnect the battery which I believe is here. I need two hands for this, unfortunately. And then I'm going to let it sit for maybe 10 seconds or so and then plug it in again and see what happens. I might also get rid of some of this dust. So, let's go back to this video again. Disconnect the battery. I'm just going to hold down the power button to discharge any circuits. We can see no signs of life because the machine is powered down with no battery connected. Now I'm going to leave all this dust here because just in case I could be causing some static issues. I'm just going to see if this works first. I'm going to plug it back in. So it's plugged in again. If I just open this up, not easy with one hand. Seems I needed to connect to AC power before it turned on. Hopefully we get something on the screen. You could tell me an error about CMOS checksum probably. I'm going to leave it running like this because I don't want the back panel of the machine to fall onto the bed and cause any issues that way. Yup. Enter to restart the computer. Hopefully you can hear the fan is still running. It's a good sign. Yep, we have our sensor back, I think. We can just double check in uh, Windows. 
can hear the fan is running anyway. God, this is an art. Typing upside down. It's a H1 fire. Uh, that's no. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. You get to see pictures of my cat plenty of times. So yeah, we're on F24 BIOS still. I should bring the camera around. Skin temperature, it's back. And it's reporting. What a rigmarole that was. Please, please, please. Can we get this fixed in the next BIOS version? I've never seen it do this before. But it just goes to show that it can happen. Just a little update. I've tidied up some of the dust. Some of these are just sticky, so you can't really get the dust off them. Remove the dust from the fan. And now I'm just going to put the back panel on, and then we'll go into HWinfo and check that our sensor is still working. Here's just a video of it assembled. Going to HWinfo. Hope that we're still reporting a sensor for skin temperature. I do apologise for any slightly shaky camera work. CPU skin temperature, there we go. Now it's cooled down obviously because I've cleaned the laptop out. But yep, as we can see it's changing, which is good. I don't know why that took so much effort, but I really hope we get this fixed on the next BIOS. As a precaution, I'm probably going to downgrade to F23 BIOS in the meantime, just to make sure it doesn't happen again. But yeah, hopefully I can edit all this video into something that makes sense with some text on screen. Hope this gets sorted soon.